Om Shanti. Today is Thursday, the 9th of November 2023. On this Thursday morning, let us listen to the Sakar Murli from our beloved Bab Dada. Bab Dada Madhuvan Essence Sweet children, when you become body conscious, Maya slaps you. Remain soul conscious and you will be able to follow every Srimad of the Father. So what is Baba saying in essence on this Satguruvar? Baba says, Sweet children, when you become body conscious, Maya slaps you. Remain soul conscious and you will be able to follow every Srimad of the Father. Today's question is, the Father has two types of effort making children. Who are they? In answer, Baba says, one type is of those who make complete effort to claim their inheritance from the father. They take the father's advice at every step. The other type is of those who make effort to divorce the father. There are some who remember the father a great deal in order to become free from sorrow. And there are others who want to become trapped in sorrow. This too is a wonder. Today's song is The flame has ignited in the happy gathering of moths. Om Shanti Baba says, You children have heard this song many times. Which song? The flame has ignited in the happy gathering of moths. The new children must be hearing it for the first time. Because when the father comes, he gives his introduction. Now, you children have received the introduction and you know that you have become children of the unlimited mother and father. The mother and father must surely be the creator of the human world. However, Maya has made the intellects of human beings completely dead. What has Maya made? Maya has made the intellects of human beings completely dead. Such a simple thing does not sit in their intellects. Everyone says that God created us. Therefore, He must surely be the mother and father. They remember God on the path of devotion. People of every religion definitely remember God the father. Devotees of God cannot be God themselves. What is Baba telling us today clearly? Devotees of God cannot be God themselves. Devotees make spiritual endeavor and pray to God. Surely there can only be one God, the father of all, that is one who is the father of all souls. There cannot be one father of all the bodies. There would be so many different fathers. So what is Baba telling us? Surely there can only be one God, the father of all. That is, one who is the father of all souls. There cannot be one father of all the bodies. There would be many different fathers in that case. So, Baba says, although everyone has a physical father, they call out, O God, and remember him. The father sits here and explains, Human beings are so senseless that they forget the father's introduction. You understand that the creator of heaven is definitely the one father. It is now the iron age. This iron age definitely has to be destroyed. The word disappeared comes up in every aspect. You children know that the golden age has now disappeared. Acha, now the question arises. Will they know in the golden age that the golden age will disappear and that there will be a silver age? No. There will be no need for this knowledge there. So what is Baba asking us? Baba says, now the question arises. Will they know in the golden age that the golden age will disappear and that there will then be the silver age? No, there will be no need for this knowledge there, meaning in the golden age. These aspects of how the cycle turns and who their father from beyond is are not in anyone's intellect. Only you children know this. People sing, you are our mother and father and we are your children, yet they do not know him. Therefore, it is useless even to say this. They have all forgotten the father. This is why they have become orphans. The father explains everything. 
follow Srimat at every step. Otherwise, Maya can deceive you at any time. Maya is very deceitful. It is the father's task to liberate you from Maya. It is Ravan who causes you sorrow. The father is the one who gives you happiness. Human beings cannot understand these things. They think that it is God who gives happiness and sorrow. The father explains that people incur so much expense on weddings in order to become unhappy. They make effort to make pure saplings impure. Only you understand these aspects. The world does not understand them. They perform so many ceremonies to drown people in an ocean of poison. They don't even know that this poison will not exist in the golden age. That is an ocean of milk, whereas this is called an ocean of poison. That world is completely viceless. Even though there are two degrees less in the silver age, it is still called a viceless world. There can be no sin there because the kingdom of Ravan begins in the copper age. So what is Baba telling us? Baba says human beings cannot understand these things. They think that it is God who gives happiness and sorrow. The father explains that people incur so much expense on weddings in order to become unhappy. They make an effort to make pure saplings impure. Only you understand these aspects. The world does not understand them. They perform so many ceremonies to drown people in an ocean of poison. They don't even know that this poison will not exist in the golden age. That is an ocean of milk, whereas this is called an ocean of poison. That world is completely viceless. Even though there are two degrees less in the silver age, it is still called a viceless world. Why? Because Baba says there can be no sin there. Because the kingdom of Ravan begins in the copper age. It is half and half. The ocean of knowledge and the ocean of ignorance. There is also the ocean of ignorance, is there not? Human beings are so ignorant that they don't even know the father. They just say that you will find God by doing this and that. However, they don't find anything. After they have beaten their heads and have become orphaned and unhappy, I, the Lord and Master, come. In the absence of the Lord and Master, Maya, the alligator, has completely swallowed everyone. The father explains, Maya is very strong and many are deceived by her. Some are slapped by lust and some are slapped by attachment. It is by becoming body conscious that you get slapped. Everything lies in becoming soul conscious. This is why the father repeatedly says, Be cautious, man manabhav. Maya slaps you if you don't remember the father. Therefore, practice staying in constant remembrance. Otherwise, Maya will make you do wrong things. You have received intellects to know the difference between right and wrong. What is Baba telling us? Practice staying in constant remembrance. Otherwise, Maya will make you do wrong things. Baba says you have received intellects to know the difference between right and wrong. If you get confused about anything, ask the father. You can send a telegram, write a letter or even phone and ask. You can get through on the phone straight away early in the mornings because everyone apart from you is asleep at that time. So what is Baba telling us? To get on the phone with him at Amritvela. Therefore, Baba says you can ask by phoning. Day by day, communication by phone is becoming refined. However, the government is very poor and so the expenditure is according to that. At this time, everyone has reached a stage of total decay and become completely impure. However, even then, why are the people of Bharat especially called Rajo and Tamoguni? Because they were the most satopradhan. Those of other religions neither see as much happiness nor as much sorrow. They are now content, which is why they are able to send so much food. Their intellects are rajopradhan. 
Baba says they continue to invent many things for destruction, though they don't understand this. This is why many pictures etc. have to be sent to them. Ultimately, they will come to know and understand that these things are very good. It is written on them, a godfatherly gift. When the time comes for calamities, this sound will be heard and they will understand that they definitely received these things. These pictures will do a lot of work. The poor people don't know the father. Only the one father is the bestower of happiness. Everyone remembers him. They can't understand this very clearly from the pictures. Just see how at this time you can't even get three feet of land and yet you become the masters of the whole world. Baba says these pictures will also do a lot of service abroad. What will these pictures do? They will do a lot of service abroad. However, some children do not value these pictures that much. Expenditure will definitely be incurred. Millions of the government's rupees must have been spent and hundreds of thousands must have died in establishing that kingdom. Here, there is no question of anyone dying. You have to make full effort on the basis of Srimat. Only then will you be able to attain an elevated status. Otherwise, you will repent a great deal and there will have to be punishment. As well as being the father, the one is also the supreme judge. What is Baba saying? As well as being the father, that one is also the supreme judge. I come into the impure world to give you children your kingdom of self-sovereignty for 21 births. If you do anything destructive, you will have to endure full punishment. Do not say, let's see what happens. Who wants to sit and think about this next birth now? Human beings give donations and perform charity for their next birth. Whatever you do now is also for 21 births. Whatever they do is temporary. They only receive the return of that in hell, whereas you receive the return in heaven. There is the difference of day and night. Baba says, whatever you do now is also for 21 births. Whatever they do is temporary. They only receive the return of that in hell, whereas you receive the return in heaven. So, there is the difference of day and night. You claim your reward of heaven for 21 births. By following Srimat in every aspect, your boat goes across. Baba says, by following Srimat in every respect, your boat goes across. The father says, I sit you children in my eyes and take you across in great comfort. You have experienced a great deal of sorrow. You have experienced a great deal of sorrow. I now say to you, remember me. You came bodiless and played your parts and you now have to return. These parts of yours are eternal. Those who have the arrogance of science cannot understand these things. Every soul is like a tiny star. Baba says every soul is like a very tiny star and has an eternal imperishable part recorded within him. It can never end. The father says, I am the creator and also the principal actor. I come every cycle to play my part. It is said that the supreme soul has a mind and an intellect and that he is the living being and knowledgeful. However, no one knows what he is. Just as you souls are stars, I too am a star. You also remembered me on the path of devotion because you were unhappy. I come and take you children back home with me. I am also your guide. I, the supreme soul, and take you souls back home. A soul is even tinier than a mosquito. It is now that you children understand this. He explains everything very clearly. The father says, I make you into the masters of the world, though I myself keep the key to the divine visions. I do not give this to anyone. On the path of devotion, this key 
is useful only to me the father says i make you pure and worthy of being worshiped maya makes you impure and a worshiper a great deal of explanation is given to you all but only those who are wise understand baba says this tape machine is a very good thing baba is talking of the tape recorder the children definitely have to listen to the murli you are long lost and now found children baba feels great compassion for the gopikas who are in bondage they experience great happiness by listening to baba's murli what would one not do for the sake of children's happiness day and night baba is concerned about the gopikas in the villages sometimes he can't sleep for thinking about what methods can be adopted so that those children can be liberated from sorrow however some make preparations to become trapped in sorrow some make effort to claim their inheritance and others make effort to divorce him the world nowadays is very bad some children don't even hesitate to kill their father the unlimited father explains everything very clearly i will give you children so much wealth that you will never become unhappy therefore you children should make your hearts merciful and show everyone this path to happiness nowadays everyone continues to cause sorrow baba says teachers however would never show a path to sorrow they simply teach studying is the source of income it is by studying that you become worthy of earning a livelihood although people receive an inheritance from their mother and father of what use is it the more wealth people have the more sin they commit previously when people went on pilgrimages they had great humility but now some even take alcohol with them and drink it secretly baba has seen this so baba says now some even take alcohol with them and drink it secretly while going on pilgrimages some can't do without alcohol don't even ask some soldiers drink a lot of alcohol before they go to fight a battle those soldiers don't worry about being killed they think that the soul will leave one body and take another you children now receive the knowledge that you have to renounce those dirty bodies whereas they don't have this knowledge however they have formed the habit of killing and being killed we want to go to baba by making our own efforts while sitting here this is an old skin in the cold weather a snake's skin becomes dry and so it sheds its old skin while playing your parts your skins have become very old and dirty you now have to renounce them you have to return to baba baba has shown you the method to do this man manabhav remember me that's all and you will shed your bodies while sitting this also happens to the sanyasis they shed their bodies while just sitting they think that the soul has to merge into the brahm element and so they sit and have yoga with the brahm element however they cannot go there similarly people go and sacrifice themselves at kashi they are just committing suicide baba has also seen how sanyasis renounce their bodies while sitting in yog but that is hat yog renunciation the father explains how you take 84 births he gives you so much knowledge but scarcely any of you follow shrimat by coming into body consciousness some even start giving their own directions to the father the father explains become soul conscious i am a soul baba you are the ocean of knowledge so what is baba telling us baba says that baba has also seen how sanyasis renounce their bodies while sitting in yoga but that is hat yoga renunciation the father explains how you take 84 births he gives you so much knowledge but scarcely any of you follow shrimat by coming into body consciousness some even start giving their own directions to the father the father explains become soul conscious i am a soul baba you are the ocean of knowledge 
Baba, I will now only follow your instructions. That is all. Great caution is needed at every step. Mistakes continue to be made, but you still have to make effort. Continue to remember the Father wherever you go. There is a great burden of sins on your heads. You also have to settle the suffering of karma. Baba says, Continue to remember the Father wherever you go. There is a great burden of sins on your heads. You also have to settle the suffering of karma. This suffering of karma will not leave you until the end. You have to become those with pure intellects by following Srimad. Dharamraj is also with him and so he becomes responsible. Why do you carry burdens yourselves? When the father is sitting here, Baba asks us. The purifier father has to come into the gathering of the impure ones. This is not a new thing. This part has been played innumerable times before and will continue to be played. This is called a wonder. Acha, to the sweetest, beloved, long lost and now found children, love, remembrance and good morning from the mother, the father, Parlokik Bhaptada. The spiritual father says Namaste to the spiritual children and we the spiritual children also say Namaste to our spiritual father. Today's essence for dharna has two points. The first point, become merciful just like the father and liberate everyone from sorrow. Show them the path to happiness. Second point, Baba says do not perform any destructive or wrong act. Create your reward for 21 births on the basis of following Srimad. Remain very cautious at every step you take. Today's blessing. May you be constantly worthy of receiving blessings from the Father and take benefit, Faida, by remaining aware of your promises, Vaida. That is, let's hear the blessing again. Baba says, May you be constantly worthy of receiving blessings from the Father and take Faida by remaining aware of your Vaida. Baba explains, whatever promises you make in your mind, in speech or in writing, keep them in your awareness and you will be able to take full benefit from those promises. Check how many times you made promises and how many times you fulfilled them. Promises and benefit. Let there be a balance between the two and you will continue to receive blessings from the Father, the bestower of blessings. Just as you have elevated thoughts, so also perform elevated actions and you will become an embodiment of success. Finally, the slogan for today, make yourself such a divine mirror that only the Father is visible. This will be called true service. Slogan once again, make yourself such a divine mirror that only the Father is visible. This will be called true service. Acha Om Shanti.